namaste aries welcome to my channel i am intuitive flow if you're new here if you're returning welcome in this is for aries sun moon rising venus and the north node or wherever you have aries in your chart all right let's get into it so i pulled for your energy aries and then i also pulled for your person so you have soulmate here all right, which I feel is a very beautiful and divine energy. You can be feeling as though you are connecting or in a connection with your soulmate at this time, or you could be coming into connection with your own soul, mating with your own soul, becoming one with your higher self. But this is definitely more so giving me your soulmate you're with your person okay we have very soon to clarify and we have trust now if you're not if you're single aries i feel like trust the process because your soulmate is coming in very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now all right and the situation is calling for you to have faith so have faith that this is your soulmate or have faith that your soulmate is coming in, Aries. Then for your person, they pull transformation. So number 19. So you could be connecting with a Scorpio or you could be connecting with someone who has very significant eighth house pla placements or you're just dealing with someone who is very transformative and you can bet on it or I can bet you on it. Your life is changing drastically while being in a connection with this person. Um, their clarifications were soulmate in the reverse and release your ex. So right off the bat, they could be going through a major transformation with an ex lover, an ex wife, um ex-husband there's someone that they need to release that they have not released yet and this is either a false soulmate or a karmic soulmate or someone that they thought was their soulmate and in fact it was unrequited they could be ending this situation all right or they could be coming to terms that they need to release this person and you know, go with the new love that could very well be you. Um, or they're knowing that they need to release this ex in order for you and their relationship to actually thrive and grow. But they are having difficulties releasing an ex here. Um, at the bottom of the raw deck, we have relief and the talisman. So some type of key here. All right, there is some sort of key to wisdom or key to the city. Um, give me one second, Aries. All right, Aries. So, yes, healer key relief. There's some type. There's some type of relief that's coming over your healing. You're gaining some sort of key. Maybe you're tapping into some gifts as a healer. We have divine masculine and great fortune. Yeah, you could be healing this divine masculine. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk, Aries. I don't know what the fuck. But you could be healing this divine masculine unknowingly. Somebody's having a hard time seeing that this is a divine connection. Maybe you believe in soulmates and this person doesn't because of an ex. But now that they've encountered you, there's something new that is sparking here. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. You're, stir you're stirring something up in this person here, Aries. It could be your fiery nature here. I do also see you like being the type of person like, listen, 
decide on what you want so that it comes to you now like are getting someone to understand this is what you've manifested you've manifested me you've manifested a soulmate and this is what it feels like <laughs> i just heard usher i'm looking for my number one or is that usher no that's another song number one number one i can't stop until i see you sugar or I won't stop until I see you should. But I don't know. Somebody. Let's see here. Clarify soulmate for Aries. The high priestess. So that's Pisces energy. You got some hidden gifts here, Pisces. Oh. Are you connecting with the Pisces? Or you can have significant Pisces placements. But there's something around secrecy that needs to come out something's coming out very soon here either it's being shown to you in your dreams or something traumatic you might see in your dreams but it plays out in your reality beautifully is what i'm picking up here you may even see somebody in your dreams Ace of Pentacles, okay? A connection, all right? An opportunity here. A money opportunity for sure, but you're nervous about something. Maybe you, you're nervous about mixing business with pleasure. Is also what I'm picking up here, but there's an opportunity um, to make a huge amount of money. There's the high priest, I mean, the hangman, but big Pisces energy, something's coming in very soon, love or money, or first come love, then comes money. Five of Cups. What are you sad about, Aries? There's, there's crying here. The Empress. Something about a mother. You know what I'm also getting here, Aries, is like you, you tell somebody to man up or woman up. That's what I'm getting. It's like, because I'm seeing you as the Empress and the High Priestess. With the Five of Cups, you've been through heartbreak. You've been through betrayal. You've been through loss. Nine of Swords, like you've gotten through anxiety or ex experienced anxiety. Due to heartbreak or loss. And you could be connecting to somebody who's actively or currently going through this transformation here. Of losing something or losing someone. Somebody. Okay, I'm hearing Big Mama. I don't know if your person calls you Big Mama. But you give like motherly vibes. Yeah, the moon. You could be connecting with the Cancer. That could be seen as Pisces as well, but there's something being hidden here on your person's end. What is the moon with transformation? Queen of Wands. King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Oh, the strain. So there is a queen of wands in your person's energy who is getting, who is attempting to get them to see them and not you. 
look, the emperor is on their end. The empress is on your end. You guys are meant to be together, but there's some type of burden weighing heavy. Literally, I see on the both of you guys, I see that both of you guys are keeping secrets here. You have the high priestess. They have the moon. You could be feeling like you're connecting with your soulmate, but they got too much going on. So you're going to still do you in the interim and under wraps, but still show up for this person. They still show up for you as well. But they got a lot of heavy burden. This person is super overwhelmed, but they're an emperor. So I feel like they have moments of being overwhelmed or feeling challenged. There could be some type of work being done here on your person. I'm not going to lie. With the moon and the queen of wands. And the Ten of Wands. But whoever this Queen of Wands is, they're with somebody. But they still don't want them to be with you. Like, they they throw different obstacles in your way. Like, if they have kids, they're like, oh, can you pick up the kids? Or can you do this? Or can you do that? The kids need money. This, that, and the third. It's like, I don't know. They don't want your person to move on to new love here is what I'm picking up. If I can be completely honest. But I see that the both of you guys, you're in the you're in the Empress, they're in the Emperor. I feel like you guys haven't gotten to the state to where you're vulnerable with each other yet that's why there's still secrets here and you may have moments of anxiety they may have moments of feeling overwhelmed because the the two people that need to be in communication aren't communicating about the things that are necessary i feel like you want to come together you want to bring this new love into um, something beautiful. Yeah. Manifest your true love. Take charge. So either you need to take charge or cross, cross watcher. You need to take charge. All right. Cross watcher. You need to get rid of this queen of wands and this heavy burdens and come clean about some secrets here. Um, and I feel like the Aries will maybe, <laughs> Um, happy, joy, cheerful, jubilant, address emotional traumas, release and heal, unblock. Yeah, emotional traumas have been coming out um, a lot today in the readings, but this is also giving me um, heavy crown chakra energy with the lavender or purple color here. So I feel like you're tapped in, Aries. I do. Mm -hmm. stay focused stay positive stay woke stay present yeah crown chakra act activation is happening too all right so that's what i have like the video and i will check y'all on the next one peace